Hello. Okay. It's time for African Spotlight. It's time for African Spotlight. Yes. Do you know the segment? So every week we focus on a good news story mm -hmm. coming from the diaspora or from the continent on somebody doing amazing things in the community every week. And this week we're shining our spotlight on a very, very special child. His name is Chika Ophili. So ask me, um, Hawa, wha who is Chika Ophili? Who's Chika Ophili? I'll tell you who Chika Ophili is. <laughs> He is a 12-year-old Nigerian boy, a UK-based Nigerian boy, who has just made history after making a new discovery in the field of mathematics. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Serena. So Chika, who's based in the UK, was awarded over the weekend at the True Little Hero Awards for discovering a new formula for disability by seven in mathematics. Hmm. Ophelia's teacher, Mary Ellis, who is also the head of mathematics department at the Westminster Underschool, said he discovered the formula while solving a holiday assignment. Miss mm. Ellis said in an, in an educational journal that she gave him a book called First Steps for, First Steps for Problem Solvers, and his, she gave it to him to study during his holidays. Mm -hmm. The book had several divisibility tests that are used to quickly work out whether a number is, is exactly divisible by either 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. When you start, before you start dividing it, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure it's perfectly div divisible with no remainders. The book had no memorable test listed for checking divisibility by seven, however. Ophili mm -hmm. then decided he discovered the formula and ha the, he then discovered that the formula had an algebraic proof to back it up. The new formula involves taking the last digit. So mm -hmm. work with me here. Serena, I'm going to test you. So work with me here. Mm -hmm. Taking the last digit of any whole number multiply it by five and then add it to the remaining part of the number to get a new number if this new number is divisible by seven then the original number is divisible by seven do you guys get it um that's the rule that's chica's rule okay i'm gonna say it again so his new chica's formula is you take the d last digit of any whole number mm -hmm. multiply it by five and then add that wait, to the remaining number okay to get a new number. Now, if this new number is divisible by seven, then the original number is divisible by seven. So that's the proof. So let's try. <laughs> let's try. I mean, you can, it's 12. He did it for us. We can do this. We can do this. So for example, take 532, okay? Mm -hmm. 532. So you break it to 52, 53 yeah, and two. Yeah. So take two, multiply it by five. What do you get? 10. No, so, no, so yes, no, 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 no. You take f 10 and you add 10 to 53 to get what? 63 and that's 63 divided really by seven. 7. Perfect, yeah. So that means 50, that means 532 is divisible by, by seven. 7. Good, so now your turn. So let's take 987, right? So 98, move it away for a little bit. Take the seven, multiply right. by five. What do you get? 35. Good, add 35 to 98. What do you get? A hundred and what? 20, 35, thirty-three. Thirty-five plus what? Ninety-eight plus your thirty-five. Right. Okay. One three three. Yeah. One three three. And then you take one. Th so t break that down again. So one three three. You take thirteen away. Take the three. Multiply mm -hmm. by five. What? I'm breaking it down again. Yes, because it's bigger. Oh. I'm gonna get so something I'm like divisible. By right. Five. Okay. So one three three. So you break it down. So three. Three times seven is. 15. No, it's not. No. Three, why is 3 times 7? 3 times 5? Yes. 3 times 5. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 3 times 5 Aye. is 15. 15. 15. 15 to the 13, you get what? 27. Eight. 28. Yes. And then divided by 7. 28 is divided by 7, is it not? It's a multiple of 7. <laughs> 4. 4. Four. So, <laughs> so it works. So it does. The formula works. And you can go as high as you want. Like you can get two nine nine six, for example. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Like, and it, now it's, I'm sure it's going to be named after him and everything. So two nine nine six. So take it. So let's break that down. Two nine nine six. So six times five, three two nine. So take three two nine. Break it down again. Nine times five is seventy seven. Mm -hmm. Add that to uh, so so nine times five. Sorry, is forty five. Add it to thirty two is seventy seven. You can take that again. Seven times five is thirty five. Add it to seven is forty two. Forty two divided by seven. How did he so come it, up with this? I don't know, and he's 12. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ben and I were so jealous. Like, <laughs> my, my son, I was like, like, 
it's true. <laughs> like, oh man, don't worry. Your turn will come. You discover your own thing. Because <laughs> Ben wants to be the one who knows all the maths, only him. But he likes to share. So, Minister, I started running away from Ben. He's like, <laughs> Ben, I don't want to do math. Like, really, what is A times B? And I'm like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> now, this is great. This is really, really great. You know, congratulations to him. So what do you guys think of this? What do you think? Share Thank your you opinions. Girl. What do you hear? His parents will be so proud. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and he got an award for it and everything. So I maybe it's going to be named after him, the Chica Ophili Formula. So, Shema, what do you think? Fantastic. <laughs> I like that one word, fantastic. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. I'm sure it will spur him on to do other things as well. I hope he's not going to be one of those, like, you know, like always studying. Mm-hmm. I hope he's going to be like an all rounder, both social and, like, I like that whole balance when you're both social mm-hmm. and you're like academic as well. Fantastic. Okay. So the question for today is what happens to all the child geniuses when they grow up? Where do they go? Mm-hmm. Where are they? Do you know any? And should they be encouraged? Do you encourage a child to have a normal childhood or, you know, to pursue all these amazing achievements and then be celebrated for it and then think, oh, I have to achieve all the time and not have a ch- proper childhood? What happens? So those are the questions. Let's say it one more time. So what happens to all the child geniuses when they grow up? Do they grow up to great things? Do they go and become this amazing, you know, um, successful people that we, we think they will be? Mm-hmm. Or do they burn out early? And do you know any child geniuses? And should they be encouraged or should they just have a normal childhood? So those are questions for today. If you want to join us, if you want to answer those questions, call the number 07542-002891. If you're from outside of the UK, then it's plus four four seven five four two zero zero two eight nine one. We're right here. Call us, say, share your opinions with us, and we'll be happy to discuss. In the meantime, while we wait for your calls, here is Love One Sinti by CK. Hello, we're back. So we're talking about the child genius Chika Ophili, who has discovered a new mathematical formula at only 12 years old. We all tested it out here and we, you know, we, we kind of like, we, we did well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Serena did well. How I did well. And we all tested the formula. It works. So we were saying, we're very proud of him, what he's, what he's done. He's only 12. But the question for the day was, what happens to all the child geniuses when they grow up? Because we, we do a lot of stories here mm-hmm. and we have, you know, we've had quite a few child geniuses, haven't we, Serena, over the, on the yeah. show? Yeah, and we talk about the, there's a chess genius, there's a, there's a prodigy who, like, won a maths con- uh, international maths competition, mm-hmm. and many other kids like that, African kids who've done well. And we think, should they be encouraged? Of course, the easy answer right. is yes. <laughs> That's the easy answer. But at the same time, if you're a child genius and you're doing, you have such a high expectation on you, do you get to have a normal childhood? Or is everybody say, oh, he's so clever, he's so mm-hmm. clever, you know, all the time? Or is there that elusive creature, the unicorn who is an all rounder, you know, who is like social, academic, sporty, and everything in between, you know? Is, that, is there that child who's well balanced, who can do all these things? The short answer is yes, I know one, I know one like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so what do we do? And do you know any child geniuses yourself? So if people are not calling in, we can talk about it. What do you guys think? Do you, ha- do you know any child geniuses? Ben. <laughs> ben. ben is chasing everybody away. We're like, no, please don't ask me any questions. I don't want to. So you know, what about you? Do you know any child geniuses? Oh, my brother. Oh, do you, um, Dante. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, you know the name? I don't forget things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very careful when you tell me things. I don't forget it. Oh, anything. my. <laughs> <laughs> really, in what, what field? Oh, he knew he wanted to do mechatronical engineering when he was like seven, eight. I um, mm-hmm. I'm still struggle to explain <laughs> what mechatronical engineering is. Is he studying right now or is he finished? Um, he's not finished, okay. no. Um, he's doing his degree and then he's going to go master's into it. Fantastic. So, yeah. Okay, so we know two. And then there are many, many, mm-hmm. many out there. Clive's going to be so angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I mean... My my thing is if you can if you can encourage them to follow their gift, but mm-hmm. at the same time make sure that they're not just focusing on that gift alone, but also like being make sure they have friends mm-hmm. and make sure they you know they know how to act in social settings and it's a balance just a ba- emotional intelligence as well as you know um, academic intelligence a mix is always the best way. If you have a child like that, you support them, but at the same time make sure they don't burn out yeah. early because there's a lot of burnout and. In that, in Especially those people, with the high expectations, a lot of yes, placing on yep, yep, yep. They're placing on themselves. Are you on yourself as well, exactly. If you have a gift and you don't use it, untapped potential can really mm-hmm. grate on you. It makes you feel like you're not, you've not mm-hmm. done anything in your life. Even if you've done a 
wonderful things because you didn't use that particular gift you feel like you haven't done anything 